Welcome everybody, uh, welcome to Atlantis Freediving Channel and today we have the Fins Part 2 video. If you remember we have done Fins Part 1 video uh, quite a while ago, so many of you asked uh, make another episode Part 2 and here we are. Uh, today I brought some uh, help for myself, um, this is Linda Paganelli and uh, Linda is a co-owner of Atlantis Freediving, she's um, uh, very, very seasoned and experienced freediver. So for those uh, who don't know her, uh, she's been competing for Italy, holds many national records, and actually have done a competition dive very recently. So um, welcome, Linda. Welcome to the channel. First Thank time. Thank you and hi. I hope that uh, we will see you uh, more often here. I hope so too. So today we will be talking about fins uh, and we will be focusing on uh, more advanced fins so we brought with us some carbon fins and we brought different brands as well so we don't just talk about one single brand okay first of all uh, you have a lot of experience linda with uh, bifins mm -hmm. and recently in um, cyprus you've been competing in bifins uh, dive as well so if you are looking for fins for yourself what you are looking for uh, personally i really like soft fins um, because I feel that if you are, unless you are super fit and you have super strong legs, uh, soft fins are better because they they allow you to go on for a longer time uh, without getting so tired, without getting really lactic, which is really critical on the ascent from a deep dive. Yes. And I see that, that a lot of deep divers are opting for soft fins because of that, um, because obviously they need the endurance uh, during the deep dive and all of that. Um, but we also spoke about in the part one video that soft fins might not be the option for everybody. Uh, yes and no. Um, the trend has changed a lot over the last few years. In the, the beginning until Several years ago, uh, fins were not, by fins were not really great for deep diving, and this is also why you didn't see many people diving in competition with by fins. Uh, and then in the last few years, there was a lot of better technology developed, a better angle, a better foot pocket, a better insertion of the blade into the foot pocket, and then fins have became by fins became much more efficient than they used to be. In the past, there was quite a lot of people using uh, stiff fins, and now as fins became better and better, you see also a lot of very strong free divers, like for example, Alexei Molchanov is also using soft fins. So there's more and more people that no matter how strong they are, they, are, they swap to use uh, soft fins, and they use a much quicker, uh, frequency and less amplitude. So high frequency kicks, lower amplitude. Mm -hmm. And so what about, because not all of the guys who are watching the video will be probably looking for competing or doing very, very deep dives, but they maybe will be looking for fins for uh, fun diving or snorkeling or maybe spur fishing and that kind of stuff. Would they also be looking for a soft fin? So well, it depends very much on what is the activity that you want to do. For example, soft fins are actually great for surface diving. Mm -hmm. So if you need to do a lot of surface diving, you do a lot of snorkeling, you do a lot of cruising around with, you know, Yeah, because you get less dives, tired, right? You get much less tired exactly. and the blade is curving much easier. Yes. If you consider that when you swim on the surface, you only do half a kick because you cannot do the up kick because you have air there. So. Um, soft fins are much better for that and then you can also swim for a very long time without getting tired. If you do things like spear fishing for example, uh, then you may want to switch to stiffer fins because you have to consider the fact that if you come up with a big fish you have to carry more weight and you will have uh, more resistance yes. than only your own body and therefore uh, spare fishermen are using uh, stiffer fins for that reason. Yes, so let's dive a little bit deeper into the actual anatomy of the fins, yes? We have basically, and we covered that in a previous video, we have the blade and different lengths, different wideness of the blade as well, but the, the foot pocket plays a big role of the performance of the fins, right? 
Yes, it does. And people tend to always speak about the blades. Uh, this is the, the blade is like this, the blade is like that. But if you don't have the right foot pocket for a particular blade, that blade will lose a lot of its efficiency uh, compared to having the same blade on uh, the right foot pocket. Exactly. So also people are also talking a lot about how comfortable the foot pocket is. And I know that a lot of times the comfort, if you get very comfortable foot pocket, this might actually cost you on the performance side. Uh, but now there is a lot of foot pocket that are, for example, um, the fins that are, we have one here from, um, this is Taras and this is Setma Composites. So the foot pocket uh, is really, different to traditional foot pocket. What would you say about this? Uh, I personally never really tried this particular fin. Well, actually once I tried, but the foot pocket was so tight, it was too small for my foot, so I just felt pain <laughs> all throughout the dive. Uh, in general, this is the foot pocket that is the same style of monofins. Yes. So there has been uh, Chetma and also uh, Molchanov started implementing this foot pocket on bifins, yes. bringing it from the monofin world. Yes. Uh, they are uh, better than the traditional foot pocket in a way because it it gives it lets the heel coming out from below, and therefore you have a better let's say a better propulsion. Yeah. So there is less energy waste. Mm -hmm. The foot doesn't especially if the, it is the right size, yes. the, the right size for you. And the foot doesn't move inside the foot pocket, so it doesn't waste energy that way. And the fact that the heel can also move below, yes. it's not constricted inside the fin, give it more, better mm. efficiency. So could you say that if you want, want high performance fins, then you really have to sacrifice sock? Because a lot of people will be using socks in the, into the foot pocket and um, you know a lot of times diving in the cold water you would have to use like five millimeter sock or really thick sock and that would give you a lot of movement inside uh, if we are speaking about very deep diving yes, yes because the socks especially if they are thick they do compress at depth which means that if even if they feel uh, tight on the surface at 60 meter or at 40 meters or even at 30 meters they're gonna compress quite a bit so there's gonna be more movement uh, but then you know you know what what is more important for you if you don't go diving exactly. because it's too yes. cold for you to dive without yes. socks then it's better to have socks and have the foot pocket yes that are good to wear with yes. socks. so you have to find the things that suit basically what you need them to do now we have also talking about foot pocket we have another one here which is uh, 20 this is brand 2971 and you can see that foot pocket here is screwed on into again chetma foot pocket and there are no rails so the manufacturer has decided to cut the rails off and what he did was actually strengthen this part of the fiberglass the the carbon fiber um, and then basically decided that he wants to control how much flex there is rather than having the rails doing that for him because a lot of times there might be a lot of chunky rubber which actually acts like a dumper which consumes a lot of your energy that you want to transfer into the blade so this is i know that this is kind of like experimental as well and i know that the company that makes these blades is now working on um, their own foot pocket that will fit their own blades and now I would like to also talk about the angles here because you can see it really clearly here and the angles are really make a difference in how the blade feels, how it works and even how which muscles you're actually using for the propulsion. So can you tell us a little bit about the angles? Uh, yes, I think this angle is probably a 30 degrees, maybe even more, but yeah, let's say it's a 30 degrees. Uh, in the last few years, the producers, manufacturers of bifins have increased a lot the angle that they put in their, in their fins. Yeah? Even, for example, I have here two pairs of uh, Alchemy, which is the same manufacturer, but those two fins, I don't know if you can actually see that in the video, those two fins have a different angle. 
Uh, this, I think, is 20 degree angle, while this is a 30 degree angle. Quite a big this difference. This is also why these fins are called V330, which yes. is the angle. Yes. Um, so, having a bigger ankle, angle will make the kick easier than having a uh, lesser angle. So, if you take the same blade with the same stiffness, but you increase the angle of the blade, it will feel easier. It will feel like a softer fin. So it will feel easier to kick and you will feel that you use less muscle. Mm -hmm. Now what I find as well, uh, because I was, I was using V330 and then I am now testing these guys here. And what I find is that, for example, when you are using tr more traditional uh, fins with traditional angle with the bigger bigger or smaller smaller angle which is like 20 20 degrees or something yeah. like that uh, you will feel that the the dominance of your kick will come from the forward kick right yeah and so when this angle changes to close to 27 30 degrees you will feel that the actual fin is pushing also more now in the back of the kick mm. so this makes sort of your movement your kick uh, work both ways better so it works the forward kick it works the back kick and actually it spreads the load of the muscles that you are using also back to your hamstrings and the calves so I find that for example when I'm finning with these guys here uh, with a big angle I actually feel like most of the work is done by my calves or the back of the leg the hamstrings rather than the quads yeah this is actually also a good reason to have soft fins that when you have soft fins you can decide to swim by using your hips and your legs more but once you're getting tired for example coming up from a deep dive you can also switch to use more the ankle and the feet so if you have a blade that is really soft you can literally just flick your foot and the fin will kick while if you have stiff fins and you exactly. flick your it will not work. kick your yeah, they feet. require more exactly. power to make the yeah, so this goes back to the first video when we talk about the stiffness and how it reacts your the, the, your body and the power in your kick reacts the blade and the actual undulation that you need for your trans, for your transportation or for the propulsion. Um, so yeah, the softer fins require less energy, and that makes sense for a deep dive. And actually, the different angle in your fin will help you to maximize the propulsion from both movements forward and backwards just by using flick of your uh, ankles. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I learned a lot today. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments on, uh, on this um, topic, let us know down, down below the video. And uh, Linda, do you have anything else to add about this uh, topic? No. no. But let us know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to answer. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video on the next topic. And let us know if there's something that you would like us to talk about. And I'll maybe bring Linda again. <laughs> Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.